to perform a successful test. It is important that you watch the instruction videos and carry out the steps as described. 30 minutes before starting the test, you should drink a large glass of water. When ready to start the test, wash hands thoroughly with warm water. This will remove any harmful germs and hand cream. It also helps to improve blood flow. Before opening the kit, find a suitable location. A flat surface is helpful to lay out the kit parts. Part of the test involves taking a photo of the test chip, so find a well-lit area. The area should be bright with daylight or natural colour lighting. Avoid areas with strong single light sources like spotlights, as these tend to cause shadows that interfere with the test analysis. Let's look at the different parts of the test kit. The kit includes an alcohol wipe to clean the tip of the finger, gauze to wipe away the first drop of blood and to stop blood flow, a lancet to create a droplet of blood, pipettes to collect the blood from the finger, a test chip to measure the cholesterol levels in the blood. When ready to start, open the pack and remove the test chip. Do not remove the Peel Here sticker. You will be instructed to do so later. Open the alcohol wipe pack and remove the wipe. Choose a finger on the non-dominant hand. The ring finger is a good choice. Wipe the tip of the finger with the alcohol wipe. Wait until the finger is dry before proceeding to the next step. Open the gauze pack and remove the gauze ready for use. Remove the lancet cap by twisting and pulling away. With the finger raised, push the lancet against the tip of the finger slightly to one side. Avoid using the lancet with the finger against a hard surface, as this can cause unnecessary pain. The needle will create a small hole and then retract again into the lancet for safe disposal. Use the gauze to wipe away the first droplet of blood, then set aside to use again. Use a thumb to gently push a droplet of blood from the hole in the finger. Try and form a pea-sized droplet. Pick up the pipette by the tube section and not the bulb. Touch the tip of the pipette to the droplet of blood, keeping the pipette horizontal so that the bulb is level or lower than the tip. The blood will automatically flow into the pipette. Use the thumb to gently create another droplet if needed. Sometimes lowering the hand below the height of the elbow will help with blood flow. The pipette must be filled to the black line the pipette cannot be overfilled, but if not enough blood is collected, the test will fail. If air is mixed with blood, use the second pipette provided in the kit to start the collection process again. When enough blood is collected, hold the gauze to the finger to help stop the blood flow. Let's add the blood sample to the test chip. Hold the pipette so that the open end is just above the blood deposit area of the test chip. Do not touch the blood deposit area with the pipette, as this can cause the test to be invalid. Gently squeeze the bulb until all the blood has left the pipette and is on the centre of the deposit area. With the bulb still squeezed, lift the pipette away from the blood. Once all the blood is on the blood deposit area, Press the Start the Timer button and confirm the blood is on the test chip. When the timer finishes, the app will show the photo capture screen. When this happens, remove the Peel Here sticker and hold the camera flat over the test chip to take a photo. 
A photo of the test chip must be taken within five minutes. Additional photos can be taken within this time. After five minutes, the test will be spoiled and lead to an invalid test. Errors can occur when a shadow from the smartphone or tablet falls across the test chip. This can be avoided by moving away from strong directional light sources like spotlights.